If you're a Google Ads or a digital marketing freelancer and you're already earning over $5,000 a month, but you wanna know how you can scale your income to a six or seven figure income, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the core high level decisions that you need to make in order to transition from a freelancer who is earning about 5,000 or more a month to a six or seven figure business. Now, right at the start of the video, one thing that I do wanna stress is that this video is really targeted at people who already have these two core things in place. And the first thing is, is that you are earning already over $5,000 a month in management fees. And the reason for why that is important because that tells me two core things. And the first thing is, is that you've got a high enough level of skill in Google Ads or any other discipline of digital marketing that you are able to successfully take a client's account from where they are now and get incrementally better results. So you've got some client success stories and you know what you're doing and you are a skilled marketer in your own right. And then secondly, you are also already signing up about one or two clients a month at a minimum. And what that lets us know is that you've got a working sales process. It may need to be improved, but you do have a system and you are able to sign new clients. And they're two core sales skill sets that you need before you can make that transition to that six or seven figure business. If that's not you and you're just starting out, what would be better is for you to go to my channel and watch a video which I released only two weeks ago, which is called Become a Digital Marketing Freelancer the Right Way. All right, so you are a freelancer, you are earning some good money, but you wanna be able to take it to the next level. And as I said, there are some core strategic decisions that you need to make. And I wanna be really upfront and honest at the start to let you know that you do have to show some real strategy here and discipline when you do make changes that you stick to these new decisions. Because if you don't do that, you can stay at the same level for years and years. And the reason why I know that is that I achieved my first six figure year as a digital marketing freelancer back in 2015. And then I stayed at the same level for about seven years until 2022 when I 10X my income in one year because the previous year I had put these principles in place. And what I wanna do is I wanna save you those lost years and really take you through the process that you need to undergo in order to make that change. And before we get into these three decisions, I do also wanna point out that if you are happy at the current level that you're at and you don't wanna progress up, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But this video is specifically for people who do wanna make that transition up into that six and seven figure business owner. Let's start with the most important one. And this is all that you need to focus on the right tasks. Now, as a digital marketing freelancer, it's really, really easy to get busy because if you're a freelancer, you're very likely that you, it's just you or maybe one or two other team members. But you're involved in all of the different parts of the business, everything from gaining new clients through to managing the actual campaigns, through to reporting for your clients. And you're probably also doing your own accounting and bookkeeping and different aspects like that as well. So you're involved in every single aspect of your business. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. And I would even say that, especially at the start of your business, it's really, really important that you are involved in everything. But what the trap is, is that too often freelancers can stay in that area. And that's what I was guilty of. As I said, it, I stayed at the same level for seven years. And it wasn't until I really started to drill down on what actually brings income into my business, because that's where you need to focus on. Because the reality is, is that there is only so many hours in a day and so many days in a week. And as a freelancer, especially if you are skilled at your skill sets, whether it be Google Ads or another discipline in digital marketing, and you've also got a sales process, you'll reach maximum capacity pretty quickly. And then once you've maxed out your hours of the day and the days of the week, you've really hit that ceiling. And once you've hit that ceiling of not being able to grow any further, you've got two decisions that you need to make. And this really comes down to, are you happy with the current level that you're at? Once again, as I said, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But if you make a decision that you you do want to earn more, you then have to come through and start making some strategic decisions about what you are going to stop doing so that you can focus more on those high income activities which bring more revenue into your business. Now, I know that this is a hard decision. For me, it meant that I had to restructure my calendar and it also meant that I had to wind up some external consulting contracts that I had with other companies. That one was probably the hardest one. The reason being is because I really enjoyed freelancing to some other agencies. I found the work really enjoyable. It was challenging and I'd built some good friendships there. But what it came down to is I had to make that decision that if I wanted to go to the next level in my own business, there were things that I just couldn't do anymore. And that was one of those things. Because what this really comes down to is you really need to prioritize the activities which are going to be generating the most revenue for you. And this brings us to the next point, And the next point is all about positioning. Now, positioning can mean a lot of different things to different people. But what I'm talking about here in this context is I'm talking about how you want to position yourself in the market. So you want to move from a 
freelancer to a fully fledged digital agency? Or do you wanna move from a freelancer and become a content creator or a YouTube educator or an industry leader in your discipline? And now while they're very two different outcomes, you do need to focus on the same questions about how you wanna position yourself in the market. Now as I said, both are good options, but you can't do both, especially right at the start. Now for me, I made the decision to not start an agency, but to really focus on being a content creator and a leading educator in my space, which was Google Ads. Now the reason for why I personally did that and that made sense to me is that at my heart, I really, really do like helping people and I felt that this was the best way that I could help a lot more people. The other reason for that as well is that because I do have some other businesses, I didn't wanna take on any extra staff or office expenses. Once again, nothing wrong with going down the agency path. It just really comes back to what's gonna be best suited for you and your lifestyle and what you're wanting your life to look like over the next five, 10, 20 years. Whatever path you, that you choose to take, the next stage of positioning is all about building authority. And the reason for why you will need to start to reach out and build authority in your space is because whether you're looking at building a digital agency or whether you're looking at building your own online education business through selling your own courses, communities, paid coaching, whatever the situation would be, you're gonna have to build some authority. And the reason for why this is so important is because when you build that authority in that space, it makes it much easier to get to our third point, which is all about lead generation. What I wanna do right now is I wanna give you some practical tips. If you're going down the path of wanting to start your own digital agency or scale your own digital agency, I would definitely be focusing on a platform like LinkedIn. And the reason for that is because you can be really, really practical with your strategies. It kind of becomes like a, a living resume and you can reach out to businesses direct. And even if you've got any other paid campaigns or anything like that, the companies can go to your LinkedIn profile and really use that as a source of authority. Or secondly, if you're going down the wanting to become a content creator path like I chose, you would definitely want to choose YouTube. And the reason for that is because it's the best platform that you can really connect with the audience and really give them a taste on the teaching that, that you can help individuals. But regardless of which option you do take, you do need to have success in this third and important area, which is all about having a leads and sales flow. So what you need is a full system of not only generating leads, but also a sales funnel of converting those leads. And because these are such big topics, what I wanna do right now is I wanna give you some extra teaching on either of those topics. So if you wanna know how you can start to become a content creator and right from the start all the way through to creating your courses and selling your own courses and coaching and communities, I want you to go through and watch this playlist on my other channel. Or if you wanna know how you can start to position yourself as an expert in your niche, I want you to go through and watch this video which is all about becoming an expert in your niche on my other channel which is called Seven Figure Coaching. Whichever option you choose, I look forward to seeing you in one of these videos real soon. Thanks again. See ya.